morning everybody Alice here again and um, this is my video for week 3's um, Build Your Stash collab hosted by Mandy uh, of Mandy's Place and uh, I'd like to thank her again for uh, letting me participate in this uh, particular uh, hub uh, collab video uh, so for this week I am actually trying to use up all my scraps um, from the first two weeks, I had a lot of scraps left over um, from making my tassels, um, for making my ribbons. So what I wanted to do was to make use of uh, all the scraps that I had to make little embellishments that I call them. I call them coin embellishments. So let me just show you. This is how I'm going to package my my coin embellishments. And uh, I actually found in my stash I had all this like colored clothes packs so what I did was uh, I'll just show you how I do my packaging later but uh, so I've got all this like little scraps of paper from my vellum to my Havana collection so yeah if you look carefully this is how I made my coin embellishments so I just randomly took what I had in my stash and just placed them on the the embellishment so flowers um, this was like from making um, some of my vinyl tassels this was left over a small piece that I couldn't make into a tassel so I just used it on this embellishment so so far I've only made one I'm gonna make another like maybe four more uh, of these embellishments and how I actually packaged is that I took a this is actually a plastic bag I got from Daiso I punched a little if you can see I punched a little hole on the top of the plastic bag I mean I could have just clipped it right over this way but I wanted the clothes pin to be in the side inside the back. <laughs> I know complicated yeah but I thought it looked more interesting like this you know like more actual packaging so let me just sorry um, let me just try to fix, fix this in first and I'm going to just use like, um, I have a whole, whole sp I have a really large collection of washi tapes. So I'm planning to use um, washi tape to seal this back closed. So yep, it goes like this. Alright, and I'll just use washi and stick it closed. So this is how my packaging comes this week. So every week I'm trying to get like a new idea for doing packaging. And okay, so how did I do uh, my coin embellishments? So if you look here, I've made a few of them and they're pretty thick because I layered um, three pieces of cardstock and one piece of uh, the uh, um, pattern paper or designer paper or whatever you called it, uh, scrapbook paper on top. So I just used whatever colored cardstock I have and I use my one inch um, punch my EK success punch my favorite punch <laughs> because I really use this a lot like really really a lot so all I do is just punch out three circles one chin circles okay I'll just take whatever scrap I have that's big enough to cut a one chin circle from see do I have anything that is um, maybe this one let me check if this is big enough just barely able to fit one particular yeah okay so I have my um, pattern paper and let me just put this to the side um, I was going to do something with that later and um, <clears throat> I just take my glue and just stick them all together. Let me try and get this in camera so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll try to make this as short as possible. So just stack them up and you know press them down. I should have put more glue on the edges but never mind. I'll just stick more to the edge here. Just want the textured side up. So like 
this so I just move it around make sure that it's like properly aligned because yeah then after that there's three pieces now of cardstock and I'll just put my pattern paper on top let's see which side I want I want this side the pink so let me just do that it's really fast it's a really fast um, project mostly when you're doing embellishments it's usually pretty fast usually <laughs> okay unless you make it like really complicated with a lot of layers and you do other kind of like mixed media on it yep so for this particular one it's a pretty fast um, project then I've got this um, Zig Painty gold and silver pen and I would just use it to color the edges uh, just outline the edges let me just get this moving and I just color the edges outline it like that try not to get any on my hands because it's like really hard to wash off so I hope you can see what I'm doing all right it's a bit hard to do this on camera because um, yeah my phone is in the way and I can't really see where I'm going This way. Okay, that's better. Right, so yeah, I'm still recovering from my flu. I was like having low grade fever on and off. I'm usually in the later part of the week, like Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, I have got. Um, tuition, private tutoring classes with my students so I, even if I'm tired I can't really do anything about it so yeah but I'm um, so I'm trying to do my videos in advance so that at least I have I won't have to rush through it and I can just like um, edit and get things ready well not really editing but uh, you know, I guess a bit of editing. So basically, that's the coin. All right, you don't see the gold really obviously. Um, it's not like a leafing pen, but uh, it works for me anyway. So that's what I do to make my little coin. So all these are the coins that I've already made, and they're all ready. So what I'm just going to do now is just find a way to embellish them. So what I did was, um, I've got this really cute um, punch that I got from my local bookstore. It's a really teeny tiny butterfly. You can see it's like smaller than my nail. Well, about the size of my little nail. And it's really tiny. I might have to... Uh, yeah. Anyway, so it's this small. I probably need to use... Uh, Sorry if this shakes because I've got my tweezers stuck to the to her line. So I'm just trying trying to like, make the butterfly. But the thing is, um, I don't like the white. I should have used double-sided paper. Let me see if I can use one of this. This is thin thin strip of paper. Let's see this one. Let's try this. This when I mean, it's double sided. Oh, oh boy. This is a bit thicker than the regular paper. Sorry about that. Uh, I might exceed my timing. It's already nine minutes. Okay, so I've got double sided paper here. Now yeah, I'm gonna use the uh, pink floral side. So I'm just like using my tweezers to like bend it. Just bend it a little bit. Oh, it's so tiny, I keep dropping it. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, wait, do I have another pair of tweezers? Where are they? This is straight. Oh, straight ones. Yeah, this one. This one is actually easier. It's straight. So, 
so basically like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a vellum I cut some out of vellum as well so I think I'm going to stick them together they're really tiny um, I'll show it to you once I'm done hold on that's my glue oh. okay hold on while I just add some glue okay uh, tiny 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 I can't even hold it with my fingers okay here you go and then I get my vellum let's see is this the shiny side Alright, so I got my vellum, which I need to attach to, you know, I'm, I'm really fumbly fingers when I'm trying to do things too quickly on camera. So I'll just stick these two together. Let's make sure it doesn't stick to my fingers. Alright, so we've got like a double layered, uh, really teeny tiny butterfly, if you can see that. And I have got this really, really thin piece of um, pearl trim. Really thin. <laughs> Look at how thin that is. And I'm thinking of um, sticking that down in the middle. Yep. Okay, to make the body of the butterfly. I probably won't be adding antennas. It's too small. It's just too small. Okay, so let me see, just a dab of glue again. It might not stick. Let's, where's my scissors? Oh, I didn't miss this one. Alright. And there we go, really, really teeny tiny butterfly. Okay, so basically I just went digging through all the things that I had lying around. And um, I had all this from my um, Sophie and Toffee um, boxes, all the bling. Then I had, I found some of these buttons. Then I had all this from another project that I'm going to show you soon. Okay, so it's like a tassel fringed, it's like a fringed piece of paper that I cut out. So basically what I'm going to do is like just grab one of these coins and I'm going to layer some of this on top. Layers, layers, layers. Okay, I'm going to get this red one. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six pieces. I'm just going to cut that into size. And this is Let's layer it a few, maybe two layers, I guess, because the coin is so tiny. And I'm going to add one of this on top it's a really grimy looking one i probably add some glitter on it just to get rid of this grimy look on it or maybe a daisy a daisy flower thinking thinking what shall i put okay let me just add this first Just add this. 
Yeah, these two transparent. I've got other colors coming up. I've got this pink one. a lot of pearl trim that I bought tons and tons then I never really used them in anything and uh, so it's like uh okay do I want to use um, um, let me just use some glossy accents The Tombow can be a little bit tacky, I think I mentioned this before. So sometimes I like to use the glossy accents. But I'm going to show you something later that <laughs> I use the glossy accents on it, but it's like it's giving me some issues. So I'm just pressing it down and holding it in place for a while because I don't want the pearl strand is like curled a little bit. So okay, I think it's good all right so I've got this down here now this is one embellishment I might have to add more um, glossy accents later and now uh, sorry sorry for shaking let me see should I use this butterfly here yeah I think so so I've got this little butterfly that I um, actually created a long time ago I had this cap this beat that um, I made and then I I used um, some small tiny pearls to um, make the body parts. I think I need the um, hot glue gun for this. I just pause for a moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, I'm, my glue gun is now heated up. So I'm just going to add a little bit just to the end of this pearl strand because it looks like it's falling out. and just glue it down okay and you can see the glue strings all around now I'm just gonna add a dab of glue to the side here and I'm gonna add my butterfly bead okay I might add a little bit more um, bling around okay so that's one down and while I was waiting for my glue gun, I just went ahead and made a few more of these little tiny butterflies. Super small, tiny butterflies. So let me just try and grab it. Um, the tail. Yeah, like this. Okay, so let's see, what shall I do for the next one? Okay, I think the ice cream is really cute, but maybe not on the pink. Um, let's see if I can glitter up this uh, with some stickles. Okay, I've got some crystal stickles down here. Let's see, I want to add some of these stickles. With my stickles are stuck. Fantastic. All right, let me see if I can get a ne needle and go poking it. My stickles has dried up. Okay, it's coming out now. Yes, it's really, <coughs> uh, it's really great to have a needle <laughs> pin, a pin in my in my glossy accents. So let me just try and uh, add some more uh, glossy accents to this thing. Uh, it's kind of grimy looking. I think it's a really, really old button. It looks much better with all the uh, stickles so I need to leave this to dry can you see that now it looks so much better I'll just leave it to one side and let's wipe this off yeah. maybe I should add a pin to this too okay 
I haven't used my stickles in a while. Let's see. Ah. All right. So, well, we're going on 20 minutes. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? Oh, this is a resin piece that I made. Let me see what I can do with this. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I've got some flowers at the side. What other flowers do I have here? This one is large. But it looks like it might work. So probably this one? I think this was one of those AliExpress flowers because they tend to have thinner stock. Um, you know the, the stock tends to be a bit thinner. So I have a feeling that's AliExpress. Um, let's see what else we have in all these piles of uh, stuff. So I think this gold. Yeah, gold circle. This is exactly one inch as well. Yeah, I'll just cut this in half. Something like that. So just finish two of these embellishments and then we will just go on for to something else. And there we have it, a very quick um, coin embellishment, I'll add a bit of hole trim to this, let's see I've got a beige trim, okay, um, I've got tons, if you can see, <laughs> tons, tons, just tons, make a little loop, loop de doop how would I insert this over here? Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to find the perfect spot to stick this in. Glue gun is a girl's best friend. Except for the glue strings. That is the enemy. Okay. And let's see. Yes. Just push that in so it doesn't come out. I think I need to add a little bit more glue there just to keep it in place. Okay. Uh, Alright. Then I can add in some of this that I got. Yeah. Three, two. Let's have a look and see. Maybe we just cut off two first. More glue. I won't worry about the ah glue strands. Ah, oh crap. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> I'll need to add more stickles. Ah, that's always the problem. I leave things to dry and then you know I get stuck in them. 
Okay, so another embellishment all done. You can't see much of the coin, you still see a little bit over there. But we've got another one done. So two done. Okay, so I am going to stop here. But before I do that, let me just quickly show you what I've been planning uh, to do for my wrapping, how I did it. Uh, okay, I've got to stick all this soup. So basically, the plastic bag that I got from Daiso was this. It's a B7 size. It comes with 50 in a pack, so it's really, really worth it. So I just picked one of these bags. Now what I do is, I've got... Because I, I have, like, I order a craft kit, and I get a ton of, like, cards. Like this in my craft kit. My Sophie and Toffee Elves box. So, um... The one I got was like a bit of a name card size, so it's like here. So I've been like collecting them and I, I, I threw a lot away until I decided, hey, I can actually recycle this. Um, I, I do recycle them, I actually throw them into the paper recycling bag that I have at the site. And uh, I decided I'm just going to use it to make uh, something for my packaging. So what I did was I took a piece of this um, card and I traced it out on some... Um, scratch paper or you know like uh, scrap paper and then I just cut out and uh, rounded the edges I stuck it onto the card and so now it gives me a little um, firm backing and what I do is uh, with this plastic bag where is my punch my one inch circle punch where did it go oh here it is so basically what I do at the top is I just slot it in a little bit right in the center I just eyeball it okay so I go about like one third of the way in and just punch okay so I get this little notch in the plastic and then I just have to get a color coordinated I'll just use this one color coordinated um, piece of clothes pack and just put my embellishments on top of it and insert this in like this as you saw when I did um, earlier so this is my packaging for week 3's embellishment uh, build your stash uh, which uh, for this week is embellishments so I'll see you again uh, next week's in next week's collab video and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what to make Okay, so I'll see you then. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please leave a comment because I'm going to have a, a giveaway at the end of the five weeks. Um, leave a comment. Every comment uh, it will give you a, a chance to, you know, uh, to win uh, the package, uh, which is going to be uh, one every item that I've been uh, making for the last five weeks. Okay, so besides my swap partner. There will be one winner for this um, uh, Build Your Stash as well. And so leave a comment. Make sure you're a scrub, sub, sub, subscriber because I will be checking. Uh, you have to be a subscriber to win. So um, I hope to see you next week then. Bye-bye.